The project started off with a lot of planning, research, and brainstorming. With the help of our mentor Brian Brewington and guidance from Vaisal Industries, we soon got to work building. Pretty soon, we were ready to go. Our payload was equipped with a GPS tracker so we could get it back. It was cool watching the location in real time. However, GPS doesn't work above 60,000 feet, meaning that there was a two hour period of waiting. We were shocked when it pinged back 60,000 feet above Netherland, and shortly after, landed in the hills above Boulder Canyon. We drove as close as we could and embarked on a beautiful hike that took us right to the payload. After analyzing the data, we were surprised to see how far the thing actually traveled. The footage was incredible, but we were a little disappointed that we missed the last 30,000 feet of the flight. So we built a second model, this time with extra heat insulation and a second camera. Three, two, one. Just like the last one, lower winds brought it way out east, then upper winds brought it all the way back west over the Indian Peaks. This time, it landed two miles west of El Dorado King. Found it! There it is. Time to climb the tree. How's it going up there, Reed? It's going great. We're getting there. <laughs> going for the parachute. I found the payload. Awesome. Yes! Bring out in the sun. Oh yeah. Maybe another location thing. This Get time, down. success. The footage was incredible. Many of the pictures captured amazing views of the Rocky Mountains. A great conclusion to a wonderful project.